All right, we're going to get into a more uh, nuanced conversation about Dwight Howard now. We're going we're gonna to lead this off. We, we went to the Magic community to see how people felt about Dwight and how you feel about Dwight 10 years later. And we've got a voicemail that we're going to play here to kind of kick this off. And then we'll just have like the, the, the Dwight Howard conversation. Nathan Clore in Greenville, South Carolina, but I grew up in Orlando, Florida. I'll always have disdain for Dwight Howard for what he did to the Magic. Um, we also haven't even won a playoff series since Dwight Howard, and that was like 10 years ago. So I can't believe that people would vote on the poll that they're indifferent about Dwight now because I always hate Dwight Howard. I get hate's a strong word, but I <laughs> Dwight's an exception. Strong word. Hate Dwight Howard. That is a strong word. And one thing that I will say is it's not entirely Dwight Howard's fault that we haven't won a playoff series no. uh, since then. That's what uh, I, was I would add. I would throw it's most been, of that blame at Rob Hennigan. It's been ten years, man. Like Dwight wasn't the reason this team hasn't rebuilt successfully in the last ten years and like three try. Like it, it is right. not at all Dwight's fault. And uh, just by me saying that, people can guess like what direction I feel about Dwight. But I, I get it. I mean, it stinks. Like you, you, the last good thing that happened, like he just, you know, essentially forced his way out, and that's just was what it was. And that's, you know, that's the that's the last truly elite asset the Magic have had. So, before we get into like our our personal feelings, and we definitely will do that. I was super interested to see how like Magic Twitter yeah. felt about Dwight because I was shocked by the results. Mm. So we posted a few days ago, I said August 9th will be 10 years since the Magic traded Dwight Howard. How do you feel about Dwight 10 years later? And I put up a poll and the three options were still hate him, I've forgiven him, and then indifferent. I was expecting overwhelmingly people to still hate Dwight. We got 478 votes on this poll. So first of all, like the response was amazing. But the most popular response with 43.1% is I've forgiven him. Second, with 42.1% is folks that are indifferent to Dwight Howard, leaving 14.9% of people that interact with the poll that still hate Dwight. So... Upwards of 85% of people do not hate Dwight anymore. That, that's surprising because... I did not think we would ever see that day. I think I think it's surprising because... Uh, and I have a theory as to why the poll turned out it did, as it did. But I, Twitter is a toxic place. Twitter is not for like the, like the, the people that can't take criticism, whatever it might be. Twitter is not for those people. So I very much expected it to just be like overwhelmingly still hate him, whether it's people being dramatic or being genuine. And I think the biggest reason about like the reason there was such a big turnout for the indifferent people, I think a lot of it is because of what Kevin talked about at the beginning was like these people didn't experience it, right? Right. Like they they don't hate them and they haven't forgiven them because they'd never hated them because they're indifferent because they became fans after or they just were too young to remember it. So I think that that's got to be the reason for for the result, though. I am still shocked that the people that didn't experience it aren't just like going with the flow and being like still hate them. Yeah. You know, that was kind of surprising uh, to me right there with you, Luke. I'm very, very surprised. Uh, and you took the words out of my mouth. I think it does probably have a lot to do with age. Um uh, yeah, but but still, like for it to be that low, like even just regardless of age or when it, like fourteen percent is just that's so very that's surprising. So out of the four hundred seventy eight, that would be seventy one people out of four hundred seventy eight say they still that's hate shocking. Dwight. Although I do think your point is very valid that there are plenty of our listeners and and followers who just didn't live through the Dwight Mayor. Mm-hmm. We still have a lot of people that were. And when we get to our next conversation, I think that even became much more apparent. If we start asking the question if, you know, Dwight is the greatest magic player of all time, people come out of the woodwork, mm-hmm. you know, arguing, you know, about Shaq. And we'll get into that in a little bit. But that shows me that there are still a lot of people who have been fans since even before the Dwight Howard era that still really hold strong and true to, you know, the the Shaq teams. 
yeah, I, I think I'm I'm curious to hear your guys' thoughts. You know, we we put the poll out there. Um, I'd love to hear really all three of us kind of chime in and and hear kind of how you feel about Dwight. And you know, really in the same way we asked the 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 poll, you know, forgiven, indifferent, hate him. You know, I think I think I think it's time to open the floor. Let's hear it. I cannot tell you how happy I was. I forget what year it was, but in the playoffs, Portland versus the Houston <laughs> Rockets, when Damian Lillard hit the three to send the Rockets home, and then after the game, you see Lillard in Dwight Howard's face. Mm. And I'm I'm not going to share the things that I was chanting <laughs> during that time. It was before I met Christ, <laughs> but um, I I hated Dwight Howard for a long, long time. I still, I, I'm still not a huge Dwight Howard, like the person, like I still, you know, some things about his personality, I think it's, people understand why he might rub you the wrong way, but I, I do think, you know, we've, we've seen kind of the evolution of Dwight throughout the years, like especially with like the, the title run, you know, and he, we saw him win the title with the Lakers and part of that, like seeing him accept like a bench role and just really buying into the team, I, part of that was endearing, but like he's also the number one reason for the most fun part of my magic fandom of my entire life. And at some point holding on to that and remembering that and not just having this sour taste in my mouth about those teams, I want to say like three or four years ago, maybe even, maybe even more recent than that. I found that to be more important to me to hold on to than the hate that I have for Dwight Howard especially when you know we we talk about how you know we don't have any you know players jerseys retired and at that point it, it's hard to find like part of the reason I was so upset about Nikola Vucevic being traded is I wanted him to be like our guy forever and not be associated with all these other teams in the way that Shaq and you know Tracy McGrady are and Dwight is even to a certain extent um like I, I, we we talk about that so much, and like we have as fans, we have to start to be the example of that, and we ha- we have to welcome these guys back if we want to appreciate like magic history. So I have forgiven Dwight Howard. I just bought a Dwight Howard jersey like three days ago. Love that. So that's where I'm at. Uh, yeah, I'll I'll kind of answer that next as to how I feel about Dwight. I, I'm I'm completely over it. Like I'm 25 now. <laughs> Uh, when it happened, I was 15 years old. Like you, you can get over things in 10 years, guys. I promise. If you can get through your first really bad breakup in a matter of like six months to a year, I promise you can get through Dwight Howard 10 years later. Like it's just one of those things, man, where it's, it's a lot of my personality, which is just very laid back and very go with the flow. And like what, what happened happened. Like it's very cut and dry. Um, so as a result, I, I don't have any disdain for Dwight Howard, I people are not going to like this. Maybe even the people that have forgiven him doesn't mean they were rooting for him. I was rooting for him to win a ring with the Lakers. Like I, I just, I was, I was like, man, I wish you would have done that. I was rooting for Dwight Howard, not necessarily like the well, Lakers. Right. Well, plus I, mean, I like LeBron. Just... So I was, I was LeBron Dwight combo that I was like, I would love to see. Well, I have to say I was rooting against the heat. So I guess I Absolutely. was rooting for the Amen Lakers. Yeah, of yeah. course. Um, but yeah, so I, I think that I just, I've never really given my, like let myself solely like just be so down on myself and Dwight Howard and the magic and whatever. Like I, the, Dwight is not the reason this team has sucked for, for this long. Like he, he did his thing and, and that was it. And he gave us like Jonathan said, like one of the, and that's what really outweighs it for me. And this is the reason I've never felt like I hate Dwight Howard. Like, don't get me wrong. There was times where I was like, I don't, I don't like that he left um, and I don't like what happened. But now, like, especially hindsight's twenty twenty. But the more that I hear, whether it's Stan tweeting like Dwight didn't get me fired, Dwight to this day uh, saying like I didn't do it. Like I, I, I was not doing that. I never said it, whatever. That type of stuff makes me feel better about my stance on Dwight, where it's like I it, it is what it is. But I don't hate Dwight Howard. And I don't know if I ever did. And if I did, it wasn't for very long. So it does shock me, though, still, that there's even that percentage, like when I really think about it, that are like, no, I still hate him. It's like, eh, I don't know. Yeah, for me, th- there was 100% a time when I hated Dwight. Definitely did. Like, the immediate aftermath, um, for a lot of the reasons you already mentioned, you know, 
the the whole drama of the year and then getting the best coach in the history of our franchise fired at, at the time you know we thought that I still think that it might not be true but at the time I thought man you got him fired and you still left like all those things that we talked about and then yeah I, I couldn't stand him booed him like any chance I could um, I was thrilled whenever you know he didn't play well or like like you said even that even that Houston Portland series which was really fun just as a basketball fan anyway to have a, a series ending buzzer beater is just crazy but for it to be with Dwight in his face I I rooted for that however time heals wounds um, today I would say I'm at the point where I've forgiven Dwight I am this close to rooting for him and the only thing that is keeping me from rooting for him is I just need some I need some ownership like I I need Dwight over his entire career every quote every something it has not been his fault it has been always put on some someone else front office even even that even that um that quote we took earlier today from the ETO thing he said I ha- I was given bad advice you know I had bad people around me whatever it was um, and even looking back I, I just I want some ownership like hey I messed this up I apologize regardless of whether he had people speaking into him like at the end of the day it's his decision and I, I want that ownership I want that apology to magic fans because that that was that whole year year and a half was not fun but that being said just like you said Jonathan like those first seven years that Dwight was there, like just the most fun times. Like I, I'm one of those losers that like has the magic way too high on my priority scale in life. And so like, we're sitting right I here, know, bro. That's <laughs> I'd say I'm one of them, you know, there's a lot of us, no, not a lot of, there's several of us in the world. And so like when that team was at its peak, it was just the most fun, like of my life. I know that sounds dumb. Like, yeah, there's family stuff. Like I got married, I got kids. That's a different kind of fun. Like, it's just like, me yeah. as a hobby, like a human being, the most fun time of my life. And Dwight was the guy. Like he was the superstar level. He was on the video games. He was, you know, national media. And he was fun. Like he was a fun guy. He was so fun. And so that I that that was just so so amazing. And so I will definitely take those moments with me to my grave. And I'm so grateful for that. So that's why I have forgiven him, because I'm able to look back on that stuff now. Um, and because time, you know, kind of heals wounds. The only thing that keeps me from just rooting for him is just, I just want, I just want a little bit of just acceptance of responsibility and, and a true apology to magic fans for that year, year and a half. That was just a mess. It was terrible. So, but yeah, that's where I stand. And I, I think Kevin, to your point that that's even something that could keep him from like truly being endeared amongst magic fans. Like, forever like leading into the future people are always going to have a little like you can forget what your your girlfriend did you know you can forgive her but you're like hey you know what i I don't i don't want you around that guy or you know i don't want you going out with those girls again you know what i mean do you think kevin that that is something that could or should keep dwight from the orlando magic hall of fame like if he cannot accept responsibility for his part in that does the team still honor Dwight? And I think it's two conversations. Will they and should yeah. they? I feel like I feel like they will. Um, yeah. Because they've already inducted some guys that had bad endings in Orlando, you know. Um, obviously, Shaq, you know, being the first one that comes to mind. Um, now, Shaq has said some things since then. Um, you know, that's kind of backtracked a little bit of, you know, he he's... I don't think he's full on said, I wish I had stayed, but he said, I wish it, it went a little bit differently how it went down, you know? Um, and the magic have kind of, he's, he's kind of been around the franchise more and more in the last couple of years for that. And so I have a feeling they will. Um, yeah. uh, it's, it's definitely interesting because a lot of the people that were calling the shots then are still around, obviously, um, you know, a, a little bit different, like Bob Vanderweet isn't here isn't really, you know, as involved, well, not involved at all, really, as he was then. Um, it's really uh, Alex Martins, you know, who's who's still kind of around. And so it's it probably really comes down to him, honestly. You know, he was still there. But 
That's a whole separate conversation. I think they will. I, th- I think they will at some point. I think they will. Um, but I, I, I do think that, you know, I, I'm kind of right there with you that uh, it needs to be acknowledged. And wh- whether it's an outright apology or whether it's, you know, I wish things would have went differently, like something to that effect. Not that it was just like everyone else's fault. But I think, and, and from the, the results that we got from the poll, most people have moved on in one way or another. And they might just be indifferent because they weren't around. You know, like, oh, I don't, I never watched the guy play, so I don't really care one way or the other. 